I've shown over 40,000 people how to create an ebook in Canva in just under 10 minutes. And also in this video, I'm going to include how you can get that book on Amazon KDP. Simple, quick, and easy. Hey, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Mario. I did 22 years in the Navy. I'm a retired electrical engineer, podcaster. I'm an author of two books, one of which I just released on Amazon. It's called Online Profits Made Simple. And I'm a course creator for the online business startup universe. And I'm going to take you through a quick tutorial. Let's jump over and get started in Canva. I'm going to use the book that I just released on Amazon as an example. It's called Online Profits Made Simple. I'm going to recreate the cover. Here's just an example of what I wrote. It's a real quick ebook that I put on Amazon. And after I show you how to create the cover, then you can just copy and paste any text that you've written. And that's how you can fill out the ebook. So first, let's start with this. I'm going to duplicate this page because I'm going to start from scratch and show you how I did this. So first, there's a there's a blank page there. The first thing you can do is add text. I'm going to go to elements and here you can type in anything you want to search. So I just type in money and I look for anything that's not pro. So this is all free stuff that I'm building this with. So I found some money here. It's just simple as drag and drop. So I just found one that's a free one here. So that's what's in the background. Then I'm still in elements. I'm going to type in square because I want a green overlay. So it starts off as black. You can change the color of it to whatever you want. I'm going to leave it green here and then expand the box to cover the entire background. Then I'm going to go to the opacity and slide it down a little bit so we can see the money behind it. Then next, work, let's work on our text. Just click add a subheading. You can slide it anywhere you want. You can change the font. I'm using the Anton font and I'm ital italicizing it. Then I am adding an effect to it, an outline. You can change the outline color. I'm going to leave it on white. You can change the intensity here by sliding it up or down. You can move it anywhere you want. You can just drag on the side to make it big and then I'm just going to recreate what I had up here. Online profits made simple. You can also increase or decrease the space between the words. You could just play around with it, get it to whatever color you like. You can change the outline colors here. We're in a fix. But just to keep it simple, we did simple black and white. You do the same thing you did to create this title. I am just going to duplicate it. You hit control D on the PC. You can enlarge it. You can slide it. You can turn it to change the text inside the box. You just double click it. Now I wanted this one to look a little different. So I changed the effect. I wanted a little bit of, of gray there. And we select another square tool. We make the color green. And then you want to select a border here. You can slide this up to be any thickness you want. I don't want it that thick, so we're going to leave it about right here. And then you can slightly turn it. You can extend it. I want it to be behind the word, so I click position and click backwards or to back. It'll put it on the very bottom. So now we got that done. We double click in here and we, we type what we want five steps to to get your business up and running you can enlarge this to make the text do what you want you can shrink it you can make it larger this is how you turn it on any item that you use in canva you can make this smaller or bigger again for lack of time we're just doing this really fast so again i click Control d i'm on a pc to duplicate this text Slide it down to, about, to around about the bottom where I want it. This looks good. I want the words to say something different. So you just double click here and you type it. Launch in 30 days or less using these proven strategies. I just click the little A in the big A. That will make your text either all uppercase or uppercase and lowercase the way you type it in. 
here you can, this is where I was talking about where you can decrease the, the size just by typing in a number. You can make it larger or smaller. So here I just did another square. I'm going to change the color to black, drag it all the way out to the mid to the end of the screen. Then I'm going to duplicate this again using control D. Or you can just go to the left hand side and click text. You can add text. I'm going to add a little bit of body text because I want the text to be small. You can select whichever font you want. This is going to be my name. I am the author. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope you're enjoying it. But I want to take some time to invite you to my email list where each month I send out a magazine for entrepreneurs with the latest tips and tactics to help entrepreneurs grow in their business. It's all in one place. It's like the cliff notes. And I want to invite you to join my email list. And as my special gift to you, I'd like to give you a plan to get started. It's inside this book, The Blueprint to Building Your Online Empire. And I want you to have that book. I'll give that to you as my gift to you when you join our email community. You'll be glad that you did. And now back to the video you were watching. Now we have our cover. It's looking pretty good. It's looking around about the same. You can make small little tweaks. You can duplicate the pages. And on the rest of these pages, all I did was I copied and pasted it. And then I adjusted the size, adjusted the background. You can copy and paste all the elements. Here I selected a frame here. You just go in and type in frame under elements. I use this one. So you drag and drop that there. Resize it as you like. And then if I want to look for a specific graphic or something, you can use AI to generate it. You only get five free if you're on, on the free account. But you don't really need it in Canva. You can just go to photos or you can go to graphics and you can type in a similar search topic and then it'll bring up some results i had already created this in with the ai function but you can find any question mark you can just type in question mark and then drag and drop it into the frame you just drag and drop it here you select the size you select the font this was a a book that I'd already written. I just added a little bit of text and you do the rest of the book in the same way. You can duplicate pages. When you're done, you can click download. I want a PDF because I have links inside here. So you click PDF standard share. You click the down arrow. You click download. Once the book is downloaded, you open it up, you go through it to make sure it looks like you want to check all the links. As you can see here on Canva, you can make the page bigger or smaller by going here. But since I'm typing text here, you can simply double click in here to change any text or you can go to the left side, hover over text. You can add a heading or a subheading and then you can come over here and just start it typing. Similar to what I did on the first page and then you do this with every page in your book. Again, if you wanted to get something like this, you would go over to elements, I already typed in frame, but you would type in frame, select whichever frame you want. There's a lot of frames. You can do a circle if you wanted to. And then you go to uploads and you can select pictures to go inside of there. So if I wanted this to be a different picture, I could just drag this one there and it would change the picture. If I wanted to adjust the font, I could go here to change the font. Or I can go here to change the size. The way I got this here is I went to the first page that I designed and you can just select everything. I held down my mouse and I just right clicked, hold and drag. If you want to find things that look like this here and you click arrow, see all. Click graphics, then you can just scroll down until you find something that you like. For instance, you could do something like this. You can make it bigger, you can move it, you can make it smaller. And just like that, you see how that looks. If I wanted to, I mean, again, you can be 
create as creative as you want. You can slide this anywhere you want. You can delete it. Or just find something similar, drag and drop it to your liking. And that's it. If you have any links that you want to create, it can be a picture or a word. You click it. Let's say if I wanted this to be a link, you go to the three dots. You go down to link. You can type in a URL here. And then it will create a link for you. And that's it. I create my covers in a tool called Fiverr. So if you want to create covers that look like this, they only charge me $5 and you can have them do revisions so that you can get it to your liking. It's another great tool that I love that I use in conjunction with Canva all the time. The first thing you would do is download the free Kindle Create tool. You can go to Google and type that in. Once you bring this up, you click new, you click choose and hit print replica so you can upload the PDF. Once you've done that, then click continue and then you're going to enter your book title, author, name and publisher after which you will hit choose PDF. This is going to be what you created in Canva. You hit open. It'll upload that and then you just go through your document and make sure that everything that you created in Canva is like it's supposed to be. So you do a review. There's no way you can skip from one chapter to another in Canva, but I'm going to show you how you can do it in Amazon. The first thing you do is you click the chapter that you want to make a chapter and you click the box for table of contents and then you enter the title and then you scroll down in the book and you do the same thing. You click that table of contents box and then you enter all the titles. Once you're done doing this, you click preview and click on the titles to make sure they go to the appropriate spot. Then you click save. You might want to look at it in a different view here to make sure that even on tablets it looks it looks good and it flows like it's supposed to, hits the chapters. Once you get done checking it, then you want to close this screen. Then you want to click save and export. You want to save the file on your desktop just so you make it easy to locate it. Once you save it on your desktop, this is how it's going to look. It's going to be a light brown looking box. You'll go over to Google and type in KDP Publishing. It'll bring up this window. You sign up and create a free account. And then it's going to be the Kindle Direct bookshelf. Go over to Create. Click Create. And then look for Create eBook. They have different options here. If you have printed books or if you have comic books or something like that. Click Create eBook and start filling out the information here. You can use chat GPT to help you fill out a description and get keywords. You do some research here so that your book can rank well. Then you click I am ready to release my book now. You hit save and continue. If there's anything wrong, it will give you an error message on the things you need to fix. Now going on to entering our information for book description. You enter the book description and then you keep going down, filling out the rest of the information. There's going to be categories you can fill out. There's going to be keywords that you can fill out. If you want to put your book up for order, you can do that. Then you hit save. This is under the Kindle ebook content tab. You're going to click the yellow button that says upload manuscript. This is going to be what you saved on your desktop. So you're going to look for that folder. You're going to look for that file. Click upload, wait for it to upload your manuscript. That's the PDF you saved in Kindle Create. Then you're going to upload your cover. This is what we created in Canva. I made a separate design for the cover. But anyway, you follow the same process. You click share, download, save this as a PNG. Click done. Make sure it's in a PNG, not a PDF. It can be a JPEG or a PNG file. Then you download it. Make I usually download it to my desktop. Then you go back to Kindle Bookshelf and click upload your cover. And then you click on the file you just made with Canva. Once you upload it, you wait for it to upload. When you get to the AI generated content, I would just click no. Continuing with all the other information. You don't need an ISBN for ebook, but if you want it, a printed book, you would you could let them do the ISBN so you don't have to worry about that. Then you hit save and continue. After some time, when it uploads, you'll be able to see that your manuscript is uploaded 
and you will be able to see your cover uploaded. And just as a note, the file will be a KPF file from Kindle Create. Then after some time, you should be able to launch the previewer and you will be able to check all your pages so you can see how it's going to look on Amazon. Once you are satisfied with this, you can click a publisher, but then you hit save and continue. It'll give you any errors. You just fix the errors. Once you fix the, er fix the errors, here's where you can select your territories or if you want to enroll in KDP Select. Where you want to sell it, I sell mine everywhere. And then you can set your price here. Once you're done, then you click publish your Kindle ebook. Takes about 72 hours. Now, here's a bonus. How do you make money with the ebook that you just created? If you check out this video right here, it's going to show you how to launch your business in 30 days or less. It's a book I just released on Amazon. It's called Online Profits Made Simple. I'll leave the link to the book in the description.